Learning Arduino with Fritzing Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. Amplification. That's an interesting topic. Uh, the Arduino board from the digital pins can only support 60 milliamps per channel and it has a top output value what we can reach with them. On the opposite side the power pins here they can supply 500 milliamps from this plus and ground and if you're running an external um, power supply then this VN can supply up to 1000 milliamps so that's a lot of power. Why do we need that? If you remember the series, circ series circuits for example this current dividing circuit then you remember that each component in a parallel circuit will need a special amount of, of um, power or of current and with one channel from the Arduino output we only can support for example three LEDs and that's not very much. Therefore oftentimes we need to switch somehow to this higher current um, pins. But we can't control them because they are. Th this is a constant power source. Therefore, we need to amplify the signal. <coughs> if you remember the button, then it is an it is simply an input. So your finger is the input, and the button is something what switches um, the circuit directly for example from the ground into the circuit it, and if there is a plus in the end somewhere and you use this 5 volt plus and the ground from the Arduino then you can with your finger just control 500 milliamps it would be nice to do this with a digital channel and therefore there is a special part which is called a transistor so a transistor is actually something like an electronic switch, electronic switch, and we can control it with a small signal and it will let a big signal through. A transistor has always three legs and they are called emitter, base and collector. And something what is very important about a transistor is that we need a resistor in front to protect the base. This for example is a drawing of a transistor and it comes with this package and three legs which are called emitter base and collector and this uh, common package is called T092. So here we have this transistor and the base so there comes a small signal which switches a big signal there we have the resistor on the base to protect it for, from too high currents and the emitter side of the transistor is connected to the ground and the other side is connected to the circuit and the circuit supplies here four different LEDs and each LED is connected to the plus. So let's go to the schematic. Here's our circuit. We have all the LEDs in this parallel circuit. Each LED has got its own resistor and the ground side from the LEDs is connected to the transistor, to the uh, collector side and the emitter of the transistor is connected to the ground of the Arduino. The base of the transistor is connected to our pin, in that case it is digital 13, it even could be another one. And the last thing is the LEDs are all connected to the 5 volt plus. So if, if there is no signal on this digital 13, so digital 13 would be low, uh, the transistor is open and the LEDs won't light up. But if we switch the digi digital 13 to high, 
then the transistor switches on and lets all the energy through the LEDs, through the transistor and into the ground. So that's amplification. Then all these LEDs can use this 500 milliamps from the Arduino and not only the 60 milliamps from this digital pin. This episode was brought to you by fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. For more Arduino related questions, go to arduino.cc forum. Thanks for watching.